Okay. Now I think I'm going to tell you about the story of the cave. Maybe perhaps I should uh, tell you how I got out of the thing with the, with the wolves. Well, what you see happen was uh, I ended up blowing that horn of a hollow. And when I did that, well, uh, five berserkers came out. And just by luck, they decided to be on our side. And so what happened? They went off and helped us dispatch what we needed. I don't remember much after that, but one of the things that I think I should tell you about that is uh, my character likes to think they're clever. And you know what? That's not always true. No, but it's okay because when it came around to it being an opportunistic thief acrobat, well, that was the best kind. So anyway, we sat there and we're going to the cave. And when we go to the cave, uh, we encountered a lake and I was like, I was just gonna joke. I was like, now, now I'm gonna tell you right now, the dungeon master was just getting so sick and tired of me joking around all the time. So anyway, I was like, I'm gonna skinny dip. And he was like, fine. He's like, you strip down, you jump into the water. And so I'm like, okay. And then sure enough, there is something in the water, something with tentacles and uh, a lot of, uh, mm, I think it was a giant octopus. I don't quite remember, but the funniest thing was this one of my uh, favorite people with me. It was a paladin. Well, <laughs> he, uh, he jumped in the water to try and save me. You know what the problem was? Well... <laughs> He was wearing plus four plate. He sank like a rock. I think three of our party members died that day. I didn't. I got out. Anyway, we'll continue this next time. You all have a beautiful day.